Hello everybody, I'm Vasquez and this is City Skylines and today I want to show you the port that I was building the last couple of days but first I want to say this is a really good song let's listen oh yeah so let's go back onto the port uh, if you saw the last video I showed you this uh, roundabout this section and as you can probably see there is a lot of changes so I was building this port for the last couple of days and I think it's looking very nicely it's efficient and it's very very detailed so I have some weird design here it's working but <laughs> I will not delete that I like it so I will show you what I did for the last couple of days with this port uh, I have combined here with some speed builds and uh, the video in the beginning so I hope you like this port I spent quite a lot of time building it and uh, I can say that this is very very detailed so I hope this can inspire you to create something on your own and uh As you can see the port is really really detailed we have a lot of trains coming in and coming out as you can see there is uh, two industrial areas farming and a small small oil production that I have here so they can go over this section here with their trucks and uh, go straight to the port there is no need to have a projection on the highway system so they can go here and this is the newest part of the port that I built uh, today earlier be before I recorded this video and this is only for the oil business as you can see and here I have a, another design that I really like and uh, this is very efficient I can say it's working quite good there is no problems with uh, traffic here so yeah as you can see the port is really really detailed I made an extra effort to look very realistic and uh, yeah you can see that there is another train station here there is a lot of oil on this on this side of the port of course but I'm planning to expand this port even more this is uh, one section of course and the train is coming in there's a lot of cars over here and they can choose just pass or leave the goods I made them a choice of course and uh, yeah I, I'm really really satisfied how is this working and it's the look uh, you can see the docks I have three of three of those and the design is really simple they just come here leave the goods and go around as you can see three ports here three ships can come and go and again really simple design and very effective this side is a bit different than the rest of the port you can see that I have a quite a big space that it's not fulfilled there is uh, how can I say rubble and garbage on that side so let's take a look on the farming industry it's not the biggest one but it's producing a lot of goods and I want to uh, have my transport on the port really quickly so I designed a simple and effective route so they will not cause me a traffic problem trucks are really separated from the roads and they're only one to use it and they are going in here and they have a couple of choices of course they can leave the goods on the train station or they can uh, move the goods because I have warehouses for the farming industry on this side so they can leave it uh, you can't probably see it from the all the containers that we have here <laughs> it's quite a lot of containers so again you can see a small metro station here there is a lot of containers there's a lot of different sources of the industrial needs so it's a bit diversified So you probably noticed that I did quite a lot of details on here. There is a lot of fencing, there is a lot of room that is fulfilled and uh, I wanted to look at realistic and to look very nice. As you can see here when the trucks are passing by they can see all of the containers and they can see the fencing done right. So 
yeah, it's looking looking very nice. I'm satisfied about that part. So yeah, it's looking uh, realistic, as you can see. And when I zoom in a little bit on this uh, train station, you can see all over the place there is something going on. <laughs> and yeah, I can say that I spent quite a lot of time to correct all of the road systems here to make it uh, efficient. So traffic is uh, doing okay here and uh, I can say that I spent a lot of time doing the fencing <laughs> maybe the not well spent time but I like it. Um, it it looks more realistic of course I'm really happy about this part there is road system going up and down the trucks can go up leave the goods or take the goods and go all over the place this side and uh, go back to their factory or the produce where is needed so yeah nice as I mentioned on this side we have a lot of rubble a lot of construction uh, equipment that is left uh, you can see the fencing is not done like perfectly on purpose I did that so yeah, this is the site where people do not want to go in <laughs> and here we have some industrial produce of course and again I said uh, the fencing is looking really nice we have some railroad carts here and the railroad is not finished of course it's only a schematic here three line looking good yeah so this is the port that I was building and I have a feeling that there is a lot of room to be improved of course and expand even more. I can say this, the port is big as my city that I'm currently having and the city has I think around 30,000 people and uh, yeah, the port is maybe bigger than the city. <laughs> so I spent a lot of time here trying to build the port and the road system for the train and for the trucks and cars so yeah I'm happy about that part and of course in the next part I'm going to show you the city where I'm going to expand it even more so let's take a look on the traffic here it's not too bad only my uh, weird little design is causing some problems this roundabout is okay it's in red but it's not that horrible everything else works okay you can see there's a lot of green color so traffic can go and move pretty smoothly and there is one line of the metro station here I have two stations so people can go and uh, go back on their jobs because there's a couple of companies over here of course as you can see as I said my size of the port and the size of the city okay city is a bit bigger but not that big port is really really big and looking nice as I said as I progress in this, this city build I'm going to increase the size of the city and uh, the size of the port because I'm planning to uh, double the size of this port eventually because I have only 3,000 people living here and uh, there is going to be a great need for the industrial uh, capabilities and uh, for the ports, for the train stations, for airports and uh, that's all I need to combine and include into this port so here I'm going to show you some speed build how I detailed uh, this port yeah you can say it's a pretty boring job but for me it's not I really really li like to do this I enjoy create stuff like this so it's a holiday for me <laughs> again I'm doing a lot of fencing <laughs> I'm losing a lot of time by that <laughs> But never mind, I want to create this perfectly to make a realistic and detailed port. Again, I need to say this, the song is really, really good. It gives me a lot of good vibe. <laughs> and the name of the song is The Good Old Days. So good song
So I'm going to mention a couple of things more before I shut the hell up and let you enjoy this build. Uh, I spent I think three days building this and here we have a small abandoned building that is again fenced. Oh my god me and the fences. <laughs> so uh, I want to say that into the next video I'm going to record the city and uh, probably the city is going to have uh, double or three times more the residents that it's currently having. I need to done all the details and uh, probably I'm going to create a small video overview like I did it in the first part. So I really like that and I see that people liked it. There is over a thousand views on that video so thank you very very much for that. And look at this, everything is moving, everybody is going some places. <laughs> yeah, there is a lot of train stations on this city. Goods are moving really nice. So I will shut up now and say thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video. You, if you want to see more, press that subscribe button, press the like button, and see you on the next video. Bye, everybody.